you can just look at the 84 pages uh, of legal submission that South Africa's legal team submitted already. Uh, the application in its own right was compelling, it was very strong. But what happened today is you had lawyers pick out particular arguments that were relevant to the court's decision-making for provisional measures. And, and that is, was strong, it was compelling. I can't see an answer that Israel will have to the arguments that were made today. But what was clear today was not only the acts that are per perpetrated by um, Israel in Gaza, but also the intention was made quite clear. So what um, the South African team were able to do was to show intention from Benjamin Netanyahu with his Amalek comments, all the way through the uh, rank of the political class, the Knesset, all the way through the military, right down to the soldier on the ground that's actually engaged in them taking action. And what, what you, the only way I think that you can interpret that is it's a genocidal intent. And if you put that genocidal intent together with the action, you have an act of genocide. Well, I mean, in this, this is a unique situation because we're not looking at something historic. We're looking at something that's happening right now. And um, so I think it's imperative on the court to act really quickly. They do have it in their gift if they decide to and they can make a decision uh, tomorrow to give an indication of their provisional measures. It may take some time. But what the court has to remember, what the judges have to remember is that for each day that they don't make the provisional measures, Israel is killing Palestinians in Gaza. And so it's imperative they act quickly.